Introducing the Avair VR Leadless Pacemaker, the next evolution in leadless technology. Avair VR LP is designed for chronic retrieval using the dedicated retrieval catheter, along with a fixed docking button on the proximal end of the leadless pacemaker and an active fixation helix at the distal end. An exposed distal electrode allows for mapping prior to fixation. Mapping is designed to reduce the number of repositioning attempts. During mapping, the Avair VR leadless pacemaker can measure initial capture thresholds, R waves, impedance, and a commanded EGM. Avair VR leadless pacemaker provides up to twice the longevity of the competitive leadless pacemaker at ISO standard settings. It is also designed to be expandable to a dual chamber pacemaker system upon regulatory approval. Implanting the Avair VR leadless pacemaker. The Aver VR LP implant procedure begins by using the Aver introducer to gain femoral vein access. The delivery catheter and device are then inserted advanced to the IVC. A pliable braided protective sleeve fully covers the LP during catheter navigation to reduce risk of damaging the helix or injury to cardiovascular structures. The LP is interrogated using the Merlin PCS programmer and communication is established. The device is then advanced using fluoroscopic guidance to the mid-RV. A contrast injection is performed to allow proper visualization of the chamber and identification of a target location. The typical target location is the distal septum. Once at the target location, the protective sleeve is unlocked and retracted, exposing the Aver VR leadless pacemaker. The device is advanced until it contacts the myocardium to allow for mapping of the location. Initial capture threshold, R waves, and impedance measurements are performed. If satisfactory measurements are confirmed, fixation begins. The device is rotated one and a half turns to fully fixate it. The device contains a radio pack chevron that can be seen under fluoroscopy and is used to assess the rotation of the leadless pacemaker. The catheter is placed into tether mode to allow for final testing prior to release. Additionally, to verify stable helix fixation, a deflection test is performed. When ready to fully release the pacemaker, the catheter tethers are misaligned by pulling and rotating the white LP release knob half turn counterclockwise. The delivery catheter is withdrawn. To acutely or chronically retrieve an implanted LP, the dedicated retrieval catheter can be used. During a retrieval procedure, the retrieval catheter is advanced into the RV, aiming for the LP docking button. Once positioned, the snare is closed around the docking button and locked into place using the snare control knob. Then the LP is docked to the retrieval catheter and covered by the protective sleeve. The snare control handle is slowly turned counterclockwise to unscrew the LP until at least three full turns of the LP chevron are observed. Then the protective sleeve is advanced to fully cover the LP helix and the retrieval catheter is removed from the heart.